Hi, this is Cassandra. I come back with another video. Today I just wanted to come back and talk a little bit more about how uh, we feel uh, being shunned and everything from the uh, cult, you know, and everything. Uh, we feel really bad about it, you know, and uh, a lot of times we feel bad because we know we ourselves have, have um, participated in the shunning of other people. And now we really get to see, you know, how uh, they felt whenever we passed by and act like we didn't know them, you know, in the, in the grocery store and places, uh, you know, like that. And just, you know, in family settings, you know, uh, you didn't speak to that person, even though that they came in the door and everything, you just act like you was talking to somebody else and everything just to act like uh, they didn't exist and everything. So we know how it really feels to, uh, to, to uh, shun somebody and be shunned at this point. And so I was talking to a, a friend of mine, uh, she was just talking about how she was really, she was saying how really sad she was that, you know, her that uh, her her children, you know, uh, family just, you know, shunning her now since she woke up and just realized that that was a, a religion that she didn't want to be a part of anymore. But uh, she was able to uh, feel that she's not going to go back, you know, even though uh, she's really sad about everything, she realized she's not going to go back into it. And I realized, too, that... Uh, the people who are out, I mean, even though uh, sometimes you can hear these stories and say, well, why don't you just go back if you feel that bad about it? But really, sometimes it's just really no going back. It's just like uh, when you graduated uh, from high school, you know, you, you went through all the years and everything. And once you graduated, uh, you couldn't go back. You could only go back to that school, you know, really to be like a, a teacher or a tutor or something like that. But you couldn't go back to be a student. And that's the same way with us now. Uh, we should really feel that, uh, you know, relax and just know that uh, all is well. You know, life uh, is uncertain anyway. We don't know when somebody is going to uh, take their last last breaths or some things like that. But we uh, realize every day when we live that one day it's our turn, turn to go. So this is what uh, we need to really reconcile in ourselves that, we don't have control over who gets in or go out of anything, any organization, any uh, club, any whatever. We don't have that control. So when we were inside of the cult, we felt like we had control over everything because we felt like whatever they told us, then that was the answer to all the problems. But when we realize that sometimes you just don't have the answers, you know, the answers, the answer is to just, uh, relax and let it go and realize that you don't have the answer. So um, this is what I want to come back to say that the people who are still in it, if you just reconcile yourself to say, you know, they're still in class, they're still in school, and you are the one that graduated and you have to uh, leave that, that place. And so no matter how sad it is, you know, with them, uh, you know, shunning people and, and the organization cover up pedophilia and, you know, it, uh, you know, tell people not to take the blood transfusions whenever uh, they're sick and they really need it and everything. And, and many have just died. And then the depression of uh, many people who have uh, even taken their own lives. But you still don't have control over it. So at the point that you have to say, I don't have control of it and I, I can't do anything about it, then you just like release it, you know. And you just, just like any bird or whatever that you were really holding on to or whatever, and you just had to release it. And let it go, you know. And so this is what it, this is what we're uh, facing at, at this time. So I just want to encourage us all, you know, to you know keep a smile on our face, keep it up, keep the positive vibes up, take care of yourself, eat right, do your exercises, you know, talk to positive people, uh, do things to help other people, and just keep your head up, you know. That's what I'm I'm doing. I mean, sometimes it, it hurts, you know, to know that. Uh, I was shunned, you know, but I was like I said, I was shunned my whole life. So it's not really a very, um, it's not really, really uh, something very new because even though we were talking and speaking, it was just something that it was still a wall in between me and the people that was really inside of it because I really didn't, you know, I really didn't get into it that deep. I really didn't even use all the jargon, you know, that they use. You know, I really never called that place the truth. You know, that was weird. I always say the kingdom hall and congregation. I when they were saying the truth, I just I never could really say it. So that's why I don't have the uh the problems with uh saying it now. It's is the truth is not the truth. You know, you have to find the truth for yourself. And the truth uh, is, you know, 
sometimes it's really relative, you know, until it's, you know, one thing is, is true and we'll all, we just, it's that it is what it is. So that's the truth. Well, anyway, I hope everyone's having a great day and uh, thanks for watching.